Hi everyone. So, um, once in a while there is this thing about sharing something about me. So, um, you understand, I guess, a little bit uh, my life in a sense. And as a video that we posted uh, before, perhaps a couple weeks ago, sometimes social media is really tricky, right? And it creates this uh, perception and a sense of another person that might not even be correct because of what they post, etc. right? And I would like to share with you just a little bit of where my awakening process is. I mean, you know, it's, it's a big process, made out of little processes, right? And um, last year, when we were living in Peru, in Cusco, the Kundalini energy moved from the heart to the throat and upwards, and it was really intense. It was very intense. I felt like there was a, a bow, boa, right, going like, pfft. but remember, this is my process, and we know many, many of our friends actually are in the same field of guiding people through their own processes, whether it's through sound healing, energetic therapies, or even just um, therapies in general, just to listen to them, right? And um, Vic kept saying, and my boyfriend always reminds me that my process has been one of the most intense I have seen. I'm just saying this so you don't really put into your mind that this is how your process will unfold because we all have different things that happen. We're all having a particular experience, a personal experience, so some things may be very similar but some things might not. And something really cool happened uh, last week or so. Sometimes days are funky with me. But and I'm, I'm ready to share this for a while and since the language of light began to come through in 2018 uh, I've been feeling I had been feeling my tongue doing something really interesting and I knew that it wasn't really in its center and because of all the imbalances I had in my physical body you know my tongue was moved towards the right side and so, you know, through many trances, I felt that where the possession of my tongue actually is, but then I couldn't really, I couldn't just leave it there, if this makes sense, okay? But then I went to this trance where also my inner child was talking in the language of light and the tongue went to its natural position. And so I would like to share with you I really find this fascinating, so I hope you do. I love to hear, uh, read your comments after. So I want to share with you how it sounds like <laughs> when I speak when my tongue is in this natural position. So this is how I speak, right? And I've been speaking like this my entire life. I've been in this earth in this current uh, consciousness for 35 years. and. My tongue, it's towards the right, a little bit tilted towards the right when I speak like this. When I was younger, my parents told me that I couldn't pronounce some things of the Spanish alphabet, so my dad had to sit with me for, for hours, a days perhaps, to help me to get that, to achieve that. And for the longest time, I didn't really know how to lisp until my mom told me, because my, my ex actually said, you do have a lisp, as you ask your mom. And my mom's like, yeah, you had it all the time. And I'm like, how can nobody tell me these things? <laughs> but I also that show how much in my own bubble I was, you know? This is how I speak. Now, pay attention. This is how I speak when my tongue is actually in this natural position. <laughs> Which when, when you listen to it, the S sounds like the Spanish S. So Span Spaniards from Spain, right? They have this lisp, they, they speak like this too. And doesn't mean that I'm gonna be speaking like that my entire life. It's just the, the, the now my body knows this is where your tongue is. And I have to practice speaking like this. So it doesn't sound so intense. <laughs> but I remember when it came out, I was like, whoa. And I was speaking to my boyfriend about it. He was just laughing because it sounds really funny, you know? So many cars passing through right now. And it's, it sounds really funny. And of course, I have, I have to think intensely in a sense because muscle memory tells me to go this way. But when I'm actually conscious of how my tongue is, then I can let my tongue 
be in its natural position and speak like this. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm very curious about my own process and I'm very grateful that it is what it is because the throat and Yogi Bhajan said that the last big blockage in a sense or bridge in the process is a throat. Once you pass the throat, the things are a little easier because it's, you know, the way into the third eye and the crown and etc. above. And so I'm very curious of how it will continue to unfold. Hopefully not as intense as it used to be. But yeah, this is a little bit about me. And uh, somehow this is coming through. My real name, as in birth name, is Claudia. Rukmani Kaur is my spiritual name that one of my teachers, uh, Kundalini teacher, channel it for me. And so I go with that. Most of my family and friends do call me Claudia because, uh, you know, it's been my name forever <laughs> in this life. And so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. And again, I'd love to hear something else about you, perhaps in your process, so we can continue to build this beautiful community and not feel alone or separated because we're not, right? We're not. So, thanks for listening. Many blessings. Ciao, peace.